Hi guys and girls, today we're talking about present perfect tense. Now present perfect tense is used when we combine the past with the present. So let's have a look how they are, the, we structure the sentences when we're using present perfect tense. Now we start off with our subject, that is our pronoun or proper noun. And that's either we're using I, you, he, she, it, or a proper noun, your name, or a person's name. Auxiliary words, which are have and has, basically they are just helping words. Verbs, they will help us to describe what we're doing if we have something or not. And our last one is main verb, which is past participant. Now I've written some examples on the board, so let's have a look. I is our pronoun. Oop, let me do that in red. I is our pronoun. Have is our helping verb. And ask is our past participle word. So if I ask my parents for some money, or you have been, there are three words there, really helpful today. He has saved. So there is our pronoun, our helping verb, and our main verb. Now, when we're using our pronoun and have or has, we sometimes contract it. So I've written a couple of them on the board. They flown to the city. That is, they have. So I've trained to contract it to there. She's forgotten where her hotel is. Again, we put she and has together. Now, when we're using past participant and or perfect, present perfect words, uh, we use regular verbs and irregular. Now, let's have a look at some regular words which are very, which are similar to past present words. So over here we've got a board. We've got present, simple past tense and present perfect tense. Now with our regular past tense words, we in our present, we've got watch. In past, it's watched. And in present perfect, uh, yeah, present perfect, it's the same, just watch. So regular words like play, 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 jump, jump, jump. When they're regular verbs, we just add an ED to the end, just like past tense. Now, with irregular past tense, there is no reason why these words we change. There is no rule to follow. So what we have to do is just remember it. So I've written a few up on the board. For example, had becomes had in past and also had in per present perfect. When in present, one in past, and one in perfect, uh, present perfect. Go, in past tense we went there, and in perfect, uh, in present perfect tense we use been or gone, because we've either been there already. We also have drive in the present form, drove, and then in the present, uh, perfect, present perfect tense it's Driven. So we've actually changed the word again and again for fly. Fly, flew, and flown. So in a lot of our irregular uh, present perfect tense, we have to change our verb to suit. Now, let's get into how we know when to use it and how we use it. Now, the best part is when we're going to use perfect present tense is when we associate it with time. So, in the, if something is in the past, last week, yesterday, last year, that's already finished. So it's finished time. But today, there is still more time for today or this week. So this is unfinished time. So we use finished time with past tense. We use present perfect when we have unfinished time. So this year, this month, 
today is still going, so we still have time to do things. So let's talk about a couple of examples. Like, I visited my brother three times last month. See how I finished last month? That last month is gone. We can't do, add any more to it. So that's past tense. But if we put it into present perfect tense, I visited my brother three times this month. This month isn't over, so I can still visit him one more time or two more times. So we can change our story. So that's how we go about using it. So um, good luck. If you need any help with the worksheets, you can add us on, you can talk to us on Facebook, and I will talk to you next week. Okay, bye guys.